Hey Soul Family, what's going on? This is the Phoenix Cloud Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Isa. I'm your friendly neighborhood intuitive oracle slash tarot reader and I'm doing the darn thing today for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Cross Watcher. This is going to be your general reading from the 5th of July to the 20th, okay? I pushed it back a few days instead of calling it the 1st through the 15th because I am very late for you guys and I do apologize. Thank you so much for being patient with the holiday and me coming back on vacation. It's been a bit of a hustle that I've been on. So, whoo, I needed a day or two to decompress. Anyway, not your guys' problem, right? Right. Okay. So this is going to be your general read. You guys already know what that means. If you're surfing around watching tarot, it means you take what resonates for your situation, your story, your life, and you leave what doesn't. Okay. I might say, ah, you're going, ah, you're coming, ah, you're staying, ah, you're driving. And if it doesn't resonate for you, it just doesn't resonate for you. Okay. Like I like these people that are like, yeah, I would never do. Listen, so you would never do it. It's not for you. Okay. Just keep it moving. All right, so take what resonates for you, <laughs> leave what doesn't. Okay, you know what your situations are. Feel free to reverse the roles. Uh, you know, I may say he, it could be her. Okay, you guys get it. It could be a male male thing, a female female thing. It could be a everybody thing. I don't really know. All right, I don't know. But we're going to get into it, okay? So if nothing resonates in your sun sign, check your moon rising and Venus. And if those don't resonate, definitely check the uh, older readings, okay? I have plenty of readings there for you, Capricorn, where something may possibly resonate for you. I don't, none of us, time is just a concept, really. You know, every reader feels the same. When you see something or you hear it is when you're meant to see it or hear it, okay? And if you feel pulled to something, then definitely look at it, okay? There might be a little message in there for you. If you like this video, if you get a nugget from it, please show your love by liking, smashing my love button, smashing my like button, whatever you want to call it. I call it the love button, smash my love button, subscribe, and uh, definitely comment down below. I'd love to talk to you guys. Okay, so let's get into it. Messages, please, for Capricorn, July 5th through the 20th, please. What do we need to talk about when it comes to Capricorn? Okay. Oh, shucky duck. This is so beautiful. You want to know why? Because I have some Oracle cards out and literally they are saying exactly what the tarot is saying. And I like that. So stick around for the end because I'll read the um, Oracle. Okay. What else? Overall energy, please. Okay, good, good, good. Bottom of the deck. Ooh, four of wands. Damn, y'all. Okay, what's the challenge for Capricorn right now? Okay, your challenge right now is. Uh, <laughs> using your mind okay using your mind in the right way queen of swords it, it could be being um rational uh not letting yourself get too crazy uh protecting yourself and you know cutting off what you need to cut off or dealing with things that you need to deal with but not to the part to the point of being harsh okay i feel like that's your challenge your challenge is standing up for yourself living walking speaking in your truth all right we have the four of cups your challenge is also not missing an opportunity okay and i feel like for some of you what the challenge is is not missing an opportunity to use your voice not missing an opportunity to set your boundaries okay and look out for yourself right now 
All right, this is very interesting, guys. We are starting right off. This could be the recent past, but I feel like this is kind of like current the current energy that's coming through. We have an Ace of Cups and a Page of Cups. So um, legit brand new love coming in, which I think is really freaking awesome here. Um, and this could be from somebody who's definitely younger than you with the Page of Cups, all right? So a small expression of love or something I feel like has grown, all right? So it's it's it feels like to me it's something that's it's in its beginning stages with the page of cups we have the ten of coins so i'm showing that money's right you're you're feeling good emotionally okay you're uh sharing time and energy with a person ten of coins also indicates that you know happy home happy life money's coming in and all is well we have a five of cups so i'm going to figure out what the sadness is about um or this regret okay so we have this five of cups here and that's just bad juju and i don't like it it makes me feel uncomfortable directly under this ace of cups we have the devil so we have some sort of temptation or we have some sort of uh maybe po quite possibly toxic energy or maybe whatever this love is it feels very addicting we're going to clarify so stick with me okay we have the sun directly next to it which is good it kind of it sort of shifts the energy for me to where it makes me feel like whatever's happening here it's not toxic or bad it could be an old residual energy that you guys are still trying to kind of work through when it comes to relationships or to your heart you could possibly be healing from something too but uh for the most part there's happiness and joy and celebration and success here okay um, we're looking at the tower in reverse as well. So something you don't want to have happen or something that you're not ready to sort of look at just yet. And this could be your person. The, trust me, please take this as it resonates because I've seen it go all kinds of ways, but this is your reading. So I'm speaking to you and that's how I'll address it most of the time. Okay. Someone may be having trouble letting go of like a self -sab sabotaging energy or, uh, you know, holding back for, for a certain type of reason. Okay. This could be putting a strain on a relationship. Whoever this is knows that this needs to change with the tower and doesn't want to change something about that. Okay. Um, there could, you could also be feeling like there is some type of financial or family affair, fam financial situation or family affair that's like it needs to change but it's not changing so there could be concern around that okay now when we have the eight of swords this talks aquarius libra gemini energy this talks about being in you know what we call a self-imposed prison and a lot of times i see this as somebody taking a break so they can really think about something Okay, like because typically they're surrounded by swords in the rider weight deck and they have this like loosely, you know, placed band around the eyes and they're loosely tied. They can get out of it, but they're holding themselves in there for a reason. And sometimes that's because they're trying to think about things with the swords here, representing the thoughts, right? And things that they want to say or express or they're holding back because they feel uncomfortable or unsafe in a situation sometimes, but we'll get to the bottom of it. Underneath the deck, we've got marriage, we've got celebration, engagements, long-term relationships, even twin flames on the brain, which I think is dope. And then we've got uh, overall energy, Palace of Cups, which is just sort of an extra uh, card to me in this deck and it talks about the environment so there's a lot of emotion love caring um, you know receptivity you might be very open right now to receiving all sorts of things whether it's money but mostly this is emotional your emotional state is represented by the palace of cups which is great it means you're in love it means you're experiencing uh love and care and somebody is giving that to you a lot you're in a brand new cycle here okay with the world this can represent moving communication being in a long distance relationship long distance doesn't have to be that you guys are you know states away or whatever some of you could be states or countries away from each other uh you could literally be an hour 
you know, where you don't have easy access to each other. You kind of have to plan time to like be together. There's travel involved with it. This is also the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. And for you guys, I feel like the beginning of this cycle is the Palace of Cups. It's a cycle of receptivity, love, intuition, even spiritual growth here for you guys in July. It's really, really nice and I dig it. Okay. So let's start diving in and doing some clarifying because I have a lot of questions. <laughs> I feel all this good energy and then I feel all this weird energy too. So I need to know. Inquiring minds want to know. Okay. Show me the Ace of Cups, please. Clarify the Ace of Cups for me for Capricorn. Ooh, the Star and the Knight of Pentacles. Oh, I love when things come together. So this could be something where uh, it took you a long time. I feel like you guys procrastinated on it. You waited a really long time to make a choice about a particular partner, okay? And here it's like Ace of Cups, the star. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Uh, I think this feels like you, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, with the five of pen, with the um, Knight of Pentacles. Lord of mercy. All right, I'm on one today. Sorry, just got off of work. It's pouring rain. We're getting a tropical storm. Anyway, and I look a mess. Okay. All right. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So guys, long time coming wish fulfillment. I feel like this is like you went through a lot to get here and on purpose, you took your time to choose to be in this particular relationship or to be in this new love situation that you're in. Okay. Or your person did. All right. But this feels more like you, you're being strategic about, you were being strategic about love or you are being strategic about love. You're not just picking up any schmo off the corner you know what i mean like you yeah. really have been manifesting working praying thinking about it you know out there dating doing your thing like what do i really want and boom it took a while but here it is okay it took a while but here it is and i feel like this is something that you're looking at for the long term or your person is why is the page of cups here oh i feel like there was some healing that you guys needed to do too here why is the page of cups here yeah wish fulfillment oh hell yes nine of cups okay so having nine of your cups full and guess what this page is the other one so like literally guys this is one little page with one little cup but guess what when you add it with this nine it makes a ten okay so this person it's not like you were out looking because you had an empty hole. You are already fulfilled, okay? And now you've got this wonderful person who's come in here and they're making up for that other cup that was missing that whole time. And that's what relationships are about. And maybe you guys just recently went through a process where you're like, hey, you know, I might've been searching for the thing that was missing this whole time, but I'm everything I needed. And now that I have got me is the nine of cups and I'm a badass mofo now here comes somebody who's fulfilling okay tell me why the ten of coins is here please tell me why ten of pentacles is here I feel like some oh my god I feel like some of y'all are talking about moving in together okay ace of cups um and the ten of swords so boom again brand new love healing okay i feel like whatever is happening with this person this has healed you it's helped you to heal okay uh, it's allowed you to be an open space for love and to be receptive i feel like this person pours out a lot of love to you they give to you okay you've been hurt in the past by other people and i want to say for some of you this person lived with you whoever it was that hurt you okay and it feels like you're not afraid anymore more. That's what I want to say. Because the 10, yes, it represents betrayal. You've had a past like anybody else where somebody hurt you. Okay. But you are at a new beginning here with that. Okay. And there's just love. There's maybe even talk of possibly moving in together or something like that. It just feels like this was a long time coming. And now that, now that it's been such a long time coming, there's a lot of thought and energy put toward you know, what the future looks like. For some of you, you thought you had the right person in the past, but this person, you know, they walked out on you or something like this, okay? And they might have even taken you for a lot of money or something 
okay? This is really positive. Why is the Five of Cups here? This is the, one of the negative cards that I don't enjoy. What's the sorrow and regret here? What's the sadness? What are we overthinking about from the past? Okay, Two of Wands. And the High Priestess. So I feel like what this what this is about it's like you know leaving something from the past behind there was something that was like it feels like you're wiser now is what it really feels to me and that you guys have made a very conscious decision to put things in the past and move on from that okay uh i think it really affected you from a very for a very long time because it is showing up here it's like you thought you had the right person and it was something that you really had to work through to get to get over because this person whatever it did whatever they did it kind of affected how your life went after that point is what I feel like okay and I think that you guys have grown a lot spiritually um not I just got like the last four to five years some of you have really grown spiritually um and you know more of what you want and that's what you're choosing you're choosing to just sort of I feel like let go of all of that and and move on okay because the two for me is somebody who's like picking away you know, they get to this place and there's a fork in the road and the fork in the road is going to take you one direction or the other. And in, in a way, I feel like this person, whoever hurt you in the past, they actually put, put you in a place where you were able to grow from that. Okay. And I think you have that, that awareness now. Okay. You chose a different path, but it ended up being good for you. Now, why do we have the devil? Because I need to know. <laughs> Why is the devil here, please, for Capricorn? Okay. Stuck. Two of Swords. Okay. Why else is the devil here, please? Clarify that. Page of Cups. Okay. So I feel that you're, what this is, is that you're protecting yourself. It is your energy, Capricorn. You are showing up here in, in your own energy. I think there's a certain level of forgiveness for this event that happened prior, okay, or the person that hurt you prior. I think you've been stuck for a long period of time in that energy of maybe you need to apologize or somebody needs to apologize for you. You could have been waiting, okay? But I feel almost this like, this like, Addi like not addictive energy but like kind of brooding or maybe just overthinking and thinking about it again and again and how this person hurt you and how you should still have an apology or something like that like this person never really came through they were immature you know you started creating something with this person that never worked out so i feel like that's again that energy of like where you were really really stuck there and you couldn't seem to get out of it okay why do we have the sun, please? Why is the sun here? Please clarify the sun. Oh my God, the lovers. Oh my God, the three of cups, y'all. Mm -mm, the sun, listen, twin flame, soulmate energy, three of cups. For me, this is celebration. You could actually be getting back together with somebody or, uh, you know, like a reunion. Okay. So this could be a person that you're getting back together with where this is coming, coming back again for some of you. Okay. But for others of you, I just feel like this is love and celebration and togetherness and you're going out with friends and you're having a good time and, and you're drinking and you're partying and with the sun, come on. Okay. No third party situation going on here. That three of cups came out upright, spun in reverse. I chose to read it in the upright because I saw it in the upright. I can read it both ways. Both ways, it means nothing bad to me with the sun and the lovers. It means nothing but good things, okay? Um, anybody who was doing anything in the past is not doing that any longer. This is a clear choice that's happening here to move on from anything from the past, all right? What's this tower in reverse though? What's this resistance? Why is this tower in reverse? Please clarify. Thank you. Okay, we have Page of Swords and we have Justice. Okay, so somebody, 
take my glasses off. I feel like, oh, with Justice Libra energy, this could represent um, things coming into balance. It almost feels like a karmic justice in a way. With the Page of Swords, oh wow. So somebody could be watching this whole thing unfold and is like, um, somebody may be getting their karma too but i feel like with the page of swords you know this is information coming through this is a person learning something but um with the tower it's in reverse it's more like a resistant energy somebody doesn't want something to end okay um and i feel like it has to do with karma somehow let me get another card to clarify clarify justice and the page of swords for me please You really could have been dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini in the past. Oh, you gave me two cards. Knight of Swords, King of Rods. Why are there so many people involved here? We have somebody rushing, King of Rods. We have somebody who's playing games. Oh, is your person curious about whether you're playing games with them or not? There's a higher level of commitment here. I don't know that somebody's ready for it, but I feel like somebody's trying to figure out. They're trying to spy on you quite possibly. So the person you're with, it's like they love you, but I think they're doing some back work here or some spy work. I don't know why I feel that way. There's just a lot of people here and there's a lot of different personalities. So we have a page of swords, a knight of swords, and the king of rods, okay? Uh, I feel like player energy, in and out energy, uh, somebody sneaking and spying with justice. It feels like somebody wants a higher level of commitment, but there's something that they're not letting happen here. Okay. Maybe they're trying to avoid feeling like you're going to take advantage of them. You're going to play games with them, something like that. Okay. So I almost feel like it almost feels like they have henchmen, like their girls or their uh, guy friends, like checking up on you just to make sure if that makes sense. Why do we have the eight of swords the fool okay i'm with that why else do we have the eight of swords oh that's a whole bunch spirit i'm so sorry can i just have one please can i have one there we go okay um there's a new beginning here with the fool, which I love, Aries energy, okay? But there's rest and recuperation here with the four of swords, okay? Taking a time out. Maybe there's somebody that you're not talking to. It could be the person, indicate the person from the past that you do not talk to this person. They could be spying on you and seeing what's going on, that you're dating, that you're happy, that type of stuff. They might want to rush back to try to say something with the page of swords try to say something to you um, but I have a new beginning here and I feel like we're moving away from this energy of like sitting back and letting things happen um, being in a state of like um, you know holding yourself back even playing the victim in some situations okay because you're not the victim I think whatever might have happened in the past for you taught you a lot about what you want now in the current energy okay but I do see a new beginning here for some of you if this is somebody that you have just met I feel like what I'm getting is that there's a person in the past that might want to try to reconcile with you, okay? Because that Three of Cups can sometimes indicate like coming back together, okay? Getting back together, stuff like that. That would make a lot of sense with this Four of Swords too, that you guys have been on a, you know, you've been on a hiatus, on a break. You haven't been talking to each other. This person is seeing you. They're seeing you dating, looking good, doing your thing, running around, okay? You don't necessarily maybe want a new start with this person, but I feel like there's a person here that you could have already been in a relationship with, the person that hurt you that is like they, they kind of want to come back together, okay, because they feel a very strong connection with you. That's not going to be for everybody. 
Okay, overall energy, like I said, we had the Palace of Cups in the world, and I feel like I'm pretty clear on that. You guys have a new start in your love life, in your emotional body. Things are going really well for you, but I do want to see why the Queen of Swords is here with the Four of Cups in reverse, okay? Why is the Queen of Swords here with the Four of Cups in reverse as a challenge? Okay, the sun and the queen of rods. So, you know, the, the, the thing is about finding happiness where you're at. The challenge is finding happiness where you're at, not missing, seeing the best of what you have right now, okay? Not missing the big picture. It's about accepting that heavenly ace of cups because this is exactly what the ace of cups is right there. You see how he's looking at it? Normally when this is upright, this is somebody who's more worried about these three cups here. When it's in reverse, we, t we speak of this card as a card that is talking about accepting that cup, okay? So I feel like you guys are accepting that cup, accepting that happiness and that joy into your life and not allowing this past experience or this person even maybe showing up, spying on you, trying to talk to you, whatever it is to get in the way of that, okay? Because underneath this, this is what you're thinking about, long-term commitments, okay? You're thinking about happiness, joy, celebration, engagements, you know, taking things to another level in your life. And you don't wanna deal with people that are gonna be in and out and players and talk smack, you know what I mean? Running back and forth, uh, you know, being uh, unpredictable with you. Okay, and with the Queen of Rods, this is somebody who is going for it, knows what she wants, knows how to get it, beautiful, you know, uh, it's just you like being in the energy of moving forward with your life, okay? Your challenge is going to be being independent of yourself, being in a relationship as well, okay, Capricorn? That's part of your challenge because you guys are very independent. You can work really hard, work a lot, sometimes feel like you don't need anybody, but you know, there are people that might be in your space that you have to let them know, I still need you anyway. Do you understand what I'm saying? I hope, I hope I, <laughs> hope that like I'm clear okay we have wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck I love that it's just good juju it's talking about destiny destined events and the wheel turning in your favor right now which I think is what's really happening for you you guys have paid your dues okay you're getting karmic justice here with this relationship that's coming in or that you're in and it feels like as soon as you're getting that here come old bummy dusty ass like hey how you doing and you're like you know what Lots better without you. Okay, let's look at these oracle cards. Okay, uh, we have getting to know each other. So like I said, new relationship, you might be getting to know somebody here. Okay, spending time with them. And it says, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So yes, the more vulnerable, which is this energy too, vulnerability with the cups, the more vulnerable you are with each other, the deeper your love will go. And bam, it says new love, guys. Like you cannot make this crap up right a new person has stirred your romantic feelings i think you have a brand new beautiful love that's here and i think it's here to stay the other card that you have happy happy which i think is so wonderful because we do have the sun we have the sun here remaining happy choosing happiness choosing to not miss the happiness that's happening in your life right now okay being your challenge right and so we have happy happy look at the key right here the key to the heart so this person could very definitely have that sort of you know click factor with you that key to your heart type of vibe which is beautiful i'm excited for you guys okay because i feel like we've been talking about work forever and ever for capricorn then we have go the distance and i'm feeling like this is the kind of connection for you that will actually go the distance like this is for the long term or a very long term will end up being a long-term commitment uh, for for you in this particular thing and this is also about enduring you know the race isn't for the swift it's for the people that can keep going okay and I think this speaks into your spirit a lot Capricorn of like persevering right getting through all the hard stuff and continuing to grow and expand I feel like huge expansion energy for you guys okay so this is really beautiful and the last card I have I think is so interesting because remember how we talked about that 
past energy and there being pain and hurt and making a choice and and it may be taking your life in a different direction or something like that we have forgiveness and because this is showing up i just think it's interesting there's an element of maybe you know them sometimes we have to do closure ourselves. okay i feel like this person might be coming back with some sort of apology or this is the attachment that you have to to the apology okay and you're gonna have to let it go you're gonna have to decide to forgive this person i acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love okay so there you go it's all about forgiveness guys forgive whoever hurt you in the past the past is gone and there's nothing that we can do like i said sometimes we just get to make closure ourselves that energy is still here remember i said forget you know apology forgiveness here it's, it's a block with the two of swords what happens the heart is blocked you see and that's exactly what this says i acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love and who's going to feel it the person who is loving you right now the person who's who's you know working at giving you love or present in your life this is about not missing the big picture okay and not cutting off a bitch because you want to be independent because you still have any pain that's there all right so i love 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 this reading for you guys capricorn this is amazing i wish you all the best with this brand new love that's coming into your life this is incredible let me know down below y'all what is up i need the tea okay let me know what's up tell me what goes on if this resonated for you please smash my love button pretty please thank you so much return the love exchange the energy with me um, and go ahead and subscribe if you're new here guys and thank you to everybody that keeps on coming back i truly truly appreciate you guys and i love you so much i'll see you later bye